Pickleball. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a writer too on the show. Uh, pickleball. Um, just, just in, in uh, we have, we have a good discussion about doing crime, and I, and I love that, that that really gelled a lot of what the show is about. Uh, just in terms of you asked me about, you know, what is it? What is it for? Is it for to get more money or stuff? And I say, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me on Caffrey. He's not doing crimes, or Mozzie, they're not doing crimes to get money or cars or whatever. It's just to do them. It's not. And, uh, and we don't care if we're doing it for the good guys or the bad guys. Right. It's just we get to keep doing it. And hopefully, and that's the you know, best that's the best for long time. Let's take another. Let's take another question. Hi, I'm a big fan. Um, my name's Matt. I'm from Los Angeles. Um, I, uh, I was wondering, this is a question from Jeff Easton, I was wondering where you got the idea to use Denny Gordon, Kevin Bray, John Kretzmer, Ken Girardi, Bronwyn Hughes, and, and Bronwyn Hughes as directors, Tim Matheson as both a director and an actor, Doug Hannah as an editor, and Rashad Rassani as a writer. Where did you get that idea? <laughs>
what she said. <laughs> was that good, honey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, she's right. That's true. <laughs> Jeff, was it? What's the inspiration? Uh, yeah, the inspiration. No, uh, when we first, when I sat down to come up with Elizabeth's character, um, one thing I didn't want to do was what you traditionally see, which is, you know, the, the fighting couple, especially as the working in the streets. And I happened to be watching uh, uh, John Adams' miniseries, and uh, I remember I told Tiffany this. I said, yeah. take a look at... You actually uh, got me the DVD set, so yeah, I can watch it. <laughs> take a look at Abigail Adams. Um, so yeah, the, the Abigail Adams was the inspiration for Elizabeth Burke. Uh, the other was a woman who knew she was dating a guy who was a workaholic and kind of insane, but she was she was cool. With it. So, I love that. We watch, we watch White Collar, you know, think of history. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Guys, really love the show. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for the show on TV. Uh, now, Neil, of course, where do you derive your charismatic inspiration? Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and I had a dialogue pretty early on about sort of specific source material, which varied from the Rat Pack to Kara Grant, Kara Spuler, Ferris Bueller, 48 Hours, Catch Me If You Can. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, when you're a con artist, that confidence and charm is just such a valuable tool to have in your arsenal. So that was one thing we really wanted to hone in on and, and uh, try to make real and believable and grounded in something rather than just making it sort of a superficial quality. And, you know, I think that's the one thing that I couldn't put on the page that you agree with. So I, I can write charming, but you're the reason that it is charming. Aww. Just romance, romance, romance. <laughs> Next question. Hi, this question is for the two Jeffs. Is there any correlation between the Elizabeth character and the Kate character since there's uh, a physical resemblance? No, absolutely not. We have not been alive. No. What are you talking about? Someone, someone likes brunettes. <laughs> That, now, that, that was one that I discovered, I think it was either Twitter or Facebook, where, you know, I, those who need to follow me on Twitter and, and default Mad Next, please do. But, uh, <laughs> um, and, and usually what I'll do on Twitter is I'll, I'll watch the live, you know, I'll watch the white color hashtag come in and it's kind of like watching a live, uh, you know, a live, a live version of the show in front of a bunch of people where you can see what's happening. And I remember the first time we really saw Kate, it was like, oh my god, Elizabeth's sister, pop, pop, pop. And it was the first time I'd ever seen it. I think it happened to be just a correlation to the fact that, uh, you know, our two lead actresses didn't look similar, but it happened to be the day when your hair and everything else looked very, very similar. So it was a complete accident. There, there was, well, no, I'm Yes, there is a... 